and talk about a nightmare. Imagine opening up a bill from the city and finding an $8,000 water bill. A couple of extra zeros on mm -hmm. there. That is scary. It came as a big surprise to one Houston couple who is not willing to pay it. Our consumer investigative reporter Grace White is digging into this case. Grace, that number is staggering. What's going on? It really is. This family called us for help because they didn't know what to do. They got this big bill and spent months trying to get answers. So it was full of water and now today it's full of mud. It started with a mess in their front yard. South of here, this was all just, I mean, from, from driveway to sidewalk down. The Murphy family knew they had a problem, so they tried getting help from the city of Houston. I called the 311 number and so they put in um, a service request. He reported it uh, December 22nd, so right around Christmas time. Wasn't expecting it to be handled right away but was thinking that we would have a crew out to the house within a week or so. But no one ever came. And in January, their water bill looked normal. But turns out it was estimated, meaning no one came out to physically read the meter. Then came the doozy. February, we get a bill for $8,062. $8,000 for one month. Yes. When the Murphys got that big bill, they knew they needed help. So they called KHOU. We live in Sagemont, not in a place where we uh, could afford ropes. an eight thousand dollar water bill. And the same day, we contacted Houston Public Works. They sent a crew out. How did that make you feel to know that you <laughs> reported this in December, but they didn't come out till we called? Um, that was disappointing. Um, I this wasn't the first time that I've reported a water leak um, to the city, and they didn't come out for weeks or even months. months. Um, so it was, it almost felt dismissive that they had ignored my request for service. At first, the city said it was a leak on the Murphy side, so they got a plumber. So this is your plumbing receipt? Yes. He fixed the leak on their side, but then told them there are also repairs that need to be made on the city's side too. This $8,000 bill, like we can't afford to pay it and the leak wasn't entirely ours. And so how much, how many millions of gallons are being wasted that the city is paying to filter to, um, for drainage for everything else. It's a waste of funds. It's a waste of taxpayer dollars. We asked the city if they've made the repairs to their side of the line. A spokeswoman told us CAS, which is customer account services, estimated the Murphy's January bill, which may have delayed the discovery of the leak there. They also told us Public Works replaced the Murphy's remote reading device, so they should no longer have to deal with estimated bills. They've also placed a hold on their account while they process a leak adjustment. This is so frustrating for not only that couple, but a lot of other people as well. This story is not a one off. The new mayor said he has a plan. We haven't really heard about the plan. Is there any word on that? We keep asking about that plan. A week ago, the mayor said his plan would be out by this week. So we asked his spokeswoman yesterday, what's the delay? She told us he wants it to be right and not rush. But meantime, customers like the Murphys are still waiting. Yeah, and estimating these water bills has been a real problem. Gets very confusing for the customer.